CO2 forecast. And a very cool but mainly dry forecast, I think, over the next seven days. Today will definitely be one of the cooler days. The wind really starts to pick up later on this morning. No advisories in place or anything like that. Some clouds showing up on the satellite imagery. Kind of a hole in those clouds right over the Omaha metro and points south. But I do think we see a decent amount of clouds today, especially this morning, kind of early on. And some flurries possible mixing in with those clouds, but no significant snow around here. That'll be just to our south. So if you're traveling to the Kansas City metro, keep an eye on things. Could be some slick spots down there as you work your way down I-29. Now, a mainly dry forecast in the upper levels of the atmosphere. We've had this kind of northwesterly flow in place, and that sticks around over the coming days. The active weather sticking to the Atlantic coast, the Gulf Coast, some rain, even some ice and snow showers showing up on radar. And that's rather far south. So you can see just how far south this cold air is reaching right now. We're kind of on the fringe of it, but it still has a pretty decent effect on our temperatures as they remain well below average. But with a pattern like this in place, you just get chances of a scattered snow shower here and there. And that's why I think over the next seven days we're talking a real lack of precipitation. Now, the winds are light at the surface right now. We're mainly clear at Epley. Most of the viewing area is not. 19 degrees of the temperature. It feels like 12 because of that light wind, but it'll be much worse later on this morning. So, teens, a few 20s mixing in. We'll still have that northwest wind uh, kind of working at about 10 to 20 miles per hour today, kind of keeping temperatures in check. Here are the wind chills uh, closer to home, though. Six in Platts. Eight in Nebraska City, two in Creston, four in Red Oak. I think these actually start to drop a bit by mid to late morning. For Omaha, I think right around 9 a.m. is when that northwesterly wind really starts to pick up around here. So out of the bus stop this morning, yes, cold, but at least we're not really dealing with the wind just yet. So 14 degrees, 15 degrees for Omaha, it will feel like 14 or 15 degrees. At least it won't be feeling sub zero. Tomorrow morning will be a different story, though. By this afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds, then we're breezy. So I think, honestly, by this afternoon, it will actually feel worse by 3 o'clock this afternoon than it will at 7 o'clock this morning. That front working through the area, so a few flurries possible, but we're not worried about any significant snowfall. This uh, really clears us out, this computer model this afternoon. I do think we get some sunshine, maybe not that clear. A few flurries possible overnight into early Wednesday morning. And I think a good deal of sunshine on Wednesday, but we'll still have that cool northwesterly flow in place. Our high temperatures actually drop into Wednesday. Only mid to upper teens tomorrow, but early Wednesday morning as we're still breezy and we're very, very cold around here, temperatures get down to around 3 early Wednesday morning. But you mix in that wind, we're talking a wind chill around 10 to 15 degrees below zero. Very cold again early Thursday morning. However, it will not be windy, so we get down to around zero. Back up to 38, slight chance of a shower by Friday night, maybe a light snow shower. Not going to be a big deal. Upper 20s, lower 30s heading into the weekend. Definitely cold, though, so bundle up today. Yeah, and especially Extra tomorrow morning. <laughs> Extra hold hairspray. Yeah. For you, John. Oh, you know every, you like hairspray. Every single day. <laughs> All right, Kyle.